Hello everyone. Welcome to Paper Crafting Playdate. My name is Robin Armbrecht and this is Really Robin Stamps. Today is Friday, July 2nd, 2021 and we have some fun things to play with today. My project today is a pattern for a very, very um, cute one sheet card and it's really super fun. I've never made anything quite like it before and I'm really excited about it. So let me uh, turn the camera so you can see my table. We'll get you all situated there. Perfect. How is everyone doing today? Happy Friday. I hope you are well and that you've come to an end of a work week in a good place and you're ready for the weekend. All right, let me find you on Facebook. That's not it. <laughs> All right, so today's pattern is pretty cool. It is a, um, a card that is made out of one piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. So I'm picking this really fun pink, polished pink color. And give me just a second. I am trying to find so I can see the comments. Okay, this is gonna drive me crazy. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Sue. It's great to see you. At least see your names. I always say that it's great to see you. I feel like I'm seeing you even though I'm not seeing you and I certainly am not being able to pull you up on Facebook for some reason. Oh, there I am, finally. Good grief, that was difficult. Okay. Now, there we go. Hi, Carol. Hi, Lisa. Awesome. Yay, you guys are here with me. Great. All right, so this is called, well, I named it, so I don't know what it's really called, but it's a pocket card, but it's kind of a one sheet because you make it out of one piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. So um, I'm gonna show you how to put this together. I'm gonna leave it kind of a surprise so you can see where we're going. Um, if you're watching this on the replay later and you wanna grab a piece of eight and a half by 11 um, cardstock or, or even just a piece of copy paper this size, you can work along with me and create a pattern for yourself. And that way you'll have it when you're getting ready to try this project for real. So the colors I picked, I used my little color coach today and I picked the polished pink with Coastal Cabana and Daffodil Delight. So these are gonna be my coordinating colors. So these are the supplies you need for this project. You need one piece of cardstock or designer series paper. I'll show you that one later. You need two pieces of basic white that are three and a half by five. And then you need two two inch strips. These are gonna be turned into tags. And this one is four and a quarter, and this one is five and a half. So they're very easy, easy measurements. So we're gonna to start today by just giving our um, piece of polished pink a background. And I decided it was time to play with this one again. Um, I don't think it's available to order yet, um, it, but it will be because Stampin' Up! makes their own stamps. So they're gonna um, get more in stock very, very soon. But this Artistically Ink stamp set is just really fun and it's easy to use. So that was what I decided I needed to do today. So I'm gonna stamp polished pink on polished pink cardstock. And we're just gonna take the time because it's Friday and we can, we are going to just ink up this entire background because it's fun. 
and it's also a little bit therapeutic after a busy long week. So look how these just layer together so nicely. So this is a holiday weekend and uh, we are supposed to have some good weather here in Springfield, Illinois. Um, still hot, still summer, but some it's been so rainy that today is sunny and it just feels so lovely to see the sun. Does anybody have some fun plans that they're going to take part in this weekend? Leave me a comment if you've got something fun you're doing or you're making a special recipe. Okay, I'm almost done. There we go. Isn't that therapeutic? I love doing that, just making a background. All right, one of the reasons that I am doing that, and I recommend when you um, create this pattern for the first time, do the same thing, because it will help you distinguish front from the back. Um, as you're putting the pattern together. So again, this is what I'm calling a one sheet pocket card because this whole thing's gonna um, layer together to make um, one card and it's gonna have two layered pockets. Let me move my ruler and pencil. We'll use that in just a second. Let's see, my comments keep going away. There we go. Oh, it's raining for where Carol is. Yes. Yeah, it's been raining here for so long. Uh, I forgot what the sun looked like. Very, very, very wet here. So now the first thing you're gonna do with your piece of cardstock is you're going to score it in half in both directions so you get four equal um, sections of the cardstock. So to do that the long way, you're gonna score at four and a quarter. Hi, Tracy. Welcome. And then you're going to turn it to five and a half and you're all gonna score it in half that way. So now we've scored it in half in both directions. And I'm going to fold and use the bone folder. And I'm gonna go both ways just to make that um, score line very, very flexible and movable. And then we'll open that back up and then we'll do in half in this direction. Like that. You just wanna take the time to make sure your edges line up. Sometimes when you score, it doesn't always match perfectly. And then we'll crease with the bone folder. All right, so we've got our score lines are nice and malleable, which will help because we're gonna fold this together. All right, so as I said, I stamped this so I would have a front side and a back side. So we're gonna work from the back side. And I recommend when you're doing this the first time is that you just go ahead and write one, two, three, four on there, okay, in pencil and you, you can erase it. Um, this is just will help you as you're putting together the pattern. So the first thing you're gonna do is work in quadrant one and you're going to just use a ruler and you're going to mark at two and three fourths inches from each corner. So I'm just measuring, I'm sorry, not from each corner, from this corner, the outside corner here, you're gonna measure two and three fourths inches this way and then you're gonna measure two and three fourths inches this way and then you're going to connect those with your ruler to create an even right triangle, okay? Then in quadrant four, you're going to measure four and one quarter, four and one fourth, four and a quarter from that side, and then four and a quarter from that corner, which is gonna be exactly where your score line is down here. So this is gonna give you a bigger triangle and then you're gonna connect those with the pencil line, like that. Okay, so the first thing um, after you 
make those marks is you're going to then just trim those off and it's really easy with the paper trimmer because you can just line up that line with this little um, groove here in the this dark groove in the paper cutter so again this was two and three fourths inches from the corner and then this one was four and one fourth inch from the corner the outside corner I have this PDF already created and loaded onto my um, blog, which will um, post right after this video today. So you will be able to have um, easy directions to follow and look at the pictures. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, and we've cut off the two corners. The last thing that we do before we um, fold it together is to cut on the score line that's between um, quadrant one and quadrant three. All right, you're just gonna separate those two at the score line. I like to use scissors for this part. Like that. And then I'm going to create a little bit of extra space in between that cut mark by cutting off this little ridge. I don't know if you can see this, but where your score line is, um, usually when you cut on a score line, it leaves just a little bit of uh, like a ridge. So we're gonna cut that ridge off. That will not only um, look a little bit better, but more importantly, it's going to, when we fold this together, it's gonna allow room for the, the pockets to fold up. You'll see in just a second. Okay. So this is your prep work before you fold it up. And let me just bring in my little template that I made. So this is what I'm suggesting you do when you make this for the first time. Use a, um, you know, a scrap piece of cardstock or just a piece of copy paper and then create these little details on here so that when you wanna make another one, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, to do it. So I've labeled the quadrants. I reminded myself that this was the back side, this is the front side, and then I put the measurements two and three fourths, four and one fourth, and then I put these arrows where the adhesive goes. All right, so that's going to be our next step. And so the first thing that you're do, going to do, let me show you how this works so that you're not confused. You're going to make this go this way, and that's going to create a pocket. And then you're going to fold this one up and it's gonna create that pocket. And then you fold this one back and it creates the card. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love this. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, whoops, that was a lot of glue. We're gonna just take a little bit of glue along this edge. Now I'm gonna just recommend that you use liquid adhesive so you can get a very, very, very tiny um, glued edge so that you can stuff the pocket with a bigger piece. So when you fold one over to two, you're just going to want to make sure that this is absolutely lined up. And then just kind of recrease that with your bone folder. Okay, then here's this pattern again on quadrant four, you're going to put adhesive along these two sides because that's going to go up like this. So I'm going to take a tiny little thin bead of glue like that. Now you don't have to put glue here because when this folds up it's going to create a bottom for that first pocket so that doesn't have to be glued. It's just automatically going to have, have a, um, a sealed bottom to it. Again I'm going to make sure I line it up exactly right on the side here and then We'll close that like that. So this glue is attaching now. I've got the second pocket and then we'll fold this to the back. Now I'm just gonna just give this another little fold so that it kind of all goes together. And we'll get our little bit of excess glue off of there. So you can see how when you've stamped the one side, then that makes it um, easy to kind of tell. But it's really pretty how it works out um, that you've got your stamped background on the front and on the back and on the inside of the card. Isn't that cool? I love this. I love this project. All right, so let me bring back the other pieces that I had you um, that will be what you need to prep for this. 
also there's two pieces of three and a half by five basic white and then there's your two tags so these um, can fit in here and they're just sized really nicely so that they'll kind of stair step down and then one of these goes in here as in that pocket and then the other white piece goes in here so we can erase this number three now and it should be upside down if you've done it right that number three should be upside down so I don't really need to erase it because I'm gonna put this piece on top but that's okay so we'll put glue on this piece and make an insert for the inside like that now this is a very extra special card right because it's got a lot of little interactive features um, it's got the you know the tags you can stuff all kinds of things in there so um, you're probably thinking this is gonna go to somebody very special I would think it's not just your average thank you card um, I'm gonna bring in the fancy tag topper because I haven't used that for a while that's why I cut these into two inch strips and I'm gonna make the tops of my two tags like the, oh that one didn't go very well that's all right we'll fix that and I'll just trim that off I must have had it just a little bit crooked there you go Okay, so let's do our decorating now. So with the artistically inked stamp set, I'm going to bring in these images and we're gonna do some stamping with our color, our color, um, color suggestion here with polished pink, coastal cabana, and daffodil delight. Hello, Margie. How are you today, Margie? And then we're just gonna stamp all these little images. So I'm gonna make this flower yellow. These are so fun to stamp. Oh my goodness. And then we're going to have the double leaf in the Coastal Cabana. And then let's do the single leaf as well. So I'm gonna cut all these out with the dies that coordinate with the stamp set. So let's do a polished pink little circle flower. That's fun. And then we'll need a center for that flower. And that's what that little splotches job is. And then we're gonna do those tiny little flowers. Let's see, did I get everything? I think I did. All right, so there's these, just these beautiful fun little dies that cut out all of this stuff exactly. And I've already cut them out, but I just want you to see how easy they are to line up, even though they're, they look like they're kind of, um, difficult to line up they just cut out so easily so I've already taken the time to do that so you don't have to watch that so here's the flower the big flower this is a pretty happy color combination I'm really excited about this one I don't often get out Daffodil Delight. I kind of more like a soft yellow and um, this is making me very happy today. All right, so I'm gonna put these back in here and I'll cut out another set later. All right, so these are the pieces. So we're gonna decorate the tag. I'm gonna bring back in my scratch paper here. So on this tag, we're going to use the little yellow little flowers and we're just going to create a little background and everything that I stamp I'm going to stamp twice so I kind of get I get a lighter kind of background 
and then some darker flowers as well like that and I'm going to attach this little flower onto this little tag but we'll use one of the greetings um, actually I'm going to try to use all the greetings that come in here except maybe the thanks so what's cool about doing tags is um, you know the larger tag could actually be a bookmark um, and this could be, you know, something useful too, but it's really just, it's one of those cards where it's just got a little something extra, right? And um, it's fun to stamp just some like secondary messages in all the little pockets that you stuff. So this tag's going to say hello. Like that. And let's put this flower on. that and then we'll add the small leaf love this leaf because you can have it point in either direction and it just looks really cool and just tuck that under like that all right so this one just says hello and then on the bigger tag let's bring back the large flower and i cleaned the, my yellow ink off of that and we'll just stamp a couple of these flowers oh, we need a little more than that like that i love the shadows so pretty so we're just going to kind of create a little like watercolor inked background there and then on this one, I want, um, so this is going to say hello, and this one I want to say friend, right? This is going to be a good friend card. And so I'm going to bring in my friend stamp from the biggest wish stamp set. We're just going to stamp friend nice and, nice and big right there. And th there's a cute little background stamp that comes with this artistically inked. So let's put a couple little pink little dots on there. Like that. Just fun. This is just fun. You just get to like do a lot of little stuff to it. All right. Is that everything I was going to do? I think so. Okay. Now. Some ribbon and then our tags will be done. I'm keeping this one pretty simple here. This is the polished pink open weave ribbon. So everything will coordinate together. Hello, Cindy. How are you doing? Great. Great to see your name pop up. Okay. So there's our tags. Now with the bigger flower, this is going to go on the front of our card. So let's pull in. Oh, I know. I was going to put these little yellow flowers over here. Okay. Now I remember what I was going to do. I had a completely different version of this card that I was going to do um, for this live today. And then at the last minute, I was like, oh, no, I want to use this stamp set. And so then I quick created one. I think it was like quarter to one when I was going to start. It was very silly. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. So let's put this on the front. But I'm pretty pretty happy with this bright happy card here what do you guys think about this pattern can you see yourself making a fun little card like this okay let's put the 
center on here like that all right so let me show you when you put the tags in it's just so cute we'll put our flowers on here I forgot that's what these little ones were gonna do so we'll put the big one down here There, now it's got all the colors on it. Okay, so that's kind of the first pocket. All right, so then you've got um, this pocket here. And what I thought we would do for this pocket is to use this die, because this is just so pretty, right? So I already cut that out of white, and I thought it would be fun to use the, um, blending brushes to create some color on here. So let's take, we're just gonna mimic, we're gonna do the bigger flower in yellow. So I'm just gonna add that to my brush and then color on this. Like that. And let's do this one in pink. Oh, and then when those colors overlap, they get a pretty orange color. I love that. And then we'll take our Coastal Cabana and we'll do the leaves. It's pretty cute. Okay, so we're going to add this onto our inside piece so this little this second pocket you can put all kinds of things in the second pocket um, so I'm just kind of making a little bit of artwork to put in there it's like a little surprise you can put another little message inside there and then your you know your main writing or whatever you want to say um, the main sentiment can still go on the inside of the card So are you thinking of some things that might be good to tuck into these pockets besides tags or little notes? Cute. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Okay, let's let that dry for a minute. Yeah, leave a comment. Think of things, help me think of things that we could put in these pockets. All right, so I'm going to use um, the best wishes that comes in this stamp set. And we'll stamp that down there. Okay, I'll let that dry for a second. And then on the inside of the card is where we'll put last sentiment that says happy birthday and then of course you can decorate all of that goodness however you want to all right so let's put this together here so that's gonna sit inside there so you'll just kind of see the little corner of that peeking out and you've got your tags so it's kind of like hello friend best wishes and happy birthday so you kind of get your message you know layered with the different items you know that you stuff in there okay what do you guys think about this All right, so I think that this is also a very fun project to make with designer series paper. So I wanna just take you through that process again, because now that you've seen it once with cardstock, you can see how it is just as pretty with designer series paper. So I am going to use the 
hand penned um, designer series paper. I, I think this is my top, I don't know. I've got two that are just my top favorite and I just love them so much. It's so pretty, the colors. All right, we'll make, we'll sit that over there. All right, so the first thing that you have to do is cut a piece that's eight and a half by 11. And so I need the arm on my paper trimmer. So I'm gonna measure it eight and a half. And then I'm going to turn it and do 11 inches. So you've got this nice piece left over that you can um, use on a different project. And then I'm actually going to use a little piece of this um, strip here. So I'm going to cut a four and a quarter piece um, and use that. And then we'll go ahead and score this just like we did when we started. So we have to score it in half in both directions. At four and a quarter and five and a half. Okay, and then we fold it. So the advantage of using designer series paper is that it is um, already, you know, decorated for you on both sides. And it's a obviously thinner than cardstock so um, it won't be quite as bulky as the one that's made out of all of the cardstock but I really still think this one you can mail you know if you don't put any more embellishments on there or stuff it with something else you can totally mail this with one postage stamp hello Lynn welcome and happy Friday Okay, so there is the front and the back. So this is going to be the back side where I'm gonna do my one, two, three, four. Now the cool thing is once you make one and you save these triangles, okay, you can just use the triangles um, as a template, don't get rid of them. And you don't have to measure ever again. So I've got my leftover triangles so I can just make those lines very easily so I'll cut off quadrant four and then quadrant one like that okay I'm done with that and then we need to cut in between one and three. And I'll just trim off a little bit of that extra ridge. I have so many samples to show you of these made with designer series paper. All right, so this is gonna be the back side. So adhesive goes here, here, and here. Okay, so we're gonna fold one over onto two. It's already gorgeous, right? I love this paper. This paper is just so pretty. And then we're gonna fold four up on top of two, line that all up, and then fold that over. Make sure your edges are even and use the bone folder. Like that. Done, so cute. got these pieces my three and a half by five inch pieces you definitely need to line the inside because the back since it's designer series paper is pretty fragile it's nice you know it's thin it's supposed to be background paper so we'll put that there and then we've got that in there now here's the tags I picked for this one. I've got Pale Papaya and Blush Blossom. 
And so for this one, we're gonna to try to use all the pieces in the hand-penned petals. So let me bring out the coordinating ink colors. I've got Pale Papaya and Blush Blossom and Pool Party. It's so fun to get out this many colors. <laughs> and Mint Macaron. Oh, so here's this little piece here, this little four inch, um, not yet, yeah, four and a quarter by one inch piece. Um, I think it looks really pretty to add a little accent down here and it's a great place then to pop your greeting on. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that before I lose this little piece. So when I, um, if you're just joining, when I trimmed my 12 by 12 paper to get an eight and a half by 11 piece, there was a one inch strip left over and then this other piece. So I just used a portion of that so I could make this little band across that way. All right, so these are gonna be my tags. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the same, whoops, that was loud, tag topper here. All right, so let's give these a little decoration. Pull in our stamps. So I love this one, this is so pretty. This image right here very elegant. So I'm going to ink that in black and I'm just going to stamp it like that. And then on this one, we're going to stamp this little wispy flower here a couple times. All right, so we've got the outline. Now let's go ahead and fill in with colors. And I don't know how often you actually stamp on colored um, cardstock, but it's it's really fun and very pretty. So we're gonna do Blush Blossom for that piece. And then we're going to do the flower in the Pale Papaya. got the leaves so we'll do that in the mint macaron isn't that pretty it just kind of looks um just totally different than stamping on white very pretty all right so the little tops of this we'll stamp in pale papaya All right, so we need to put some messages on our tags, and I thought it would be fun to um, bring in Create with Friends, because I love this word amazing. And I think when you're sending a card that has all of these little elements in it, it's, it's clearly gonna be, you know, for somebody very special, and it's gonna be maybe for a special occasion, like a birthday, so. I think it makes sense to, especially if this is going to be a bookmark, you want it to kind of have a message that's going to be like something that they get to look at over and over again. So I'm going to put your amazing on the bookmark. And I'm going to bring in the word hello. For the pink tag. Like that. Let's get our ribbon on there. This is the pale papaya ribbon. All right, do you guys think of some other things that you might be able to stuff inside the pockets? I 
I think there's a great opportunity to put some gift cards in there. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, there's our pale papaya. So there's our little tag and bookmark. Now, one of the really neat things I discovered, look how they just peek out like that. I love that. Um, one of the things I discovered, I was really thinking about this insert piece for the second pocket and thinking like, you know, how could this be something even more, I guess, than just, you know, another message. And I was thinking about what if this was just a little kind of like a little mini tent card that you could, um, you know, make so they could pull out and then they could set it on things. So um, I happily discovered that the stitched rectangle um, die set, this is the second largest one, fits this perfectly. And so you can bring in the stitched elements. And so I went ahead and cut that out. Um, and then I stamped just kind of like, I made it more look like artwork, right? And so here is the tent um, piece that I'm gonna put on the back and I'll show you what I mean here. Let me think, am I done stamping with the colored inks? I think I am, so let me just put those away. Okay, so this is really simple. I'm just going to use the scoring blade and I'm gonna score this at four and a quarter and then I need the arm out. I'm gonna score it at eight and a half so it would be another four and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna do nine and a half so that'll be an inch and 10 and a half, another inch. So four and a quarter, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half. And what this gives you is the ability to just kind of make a little pop out, um, little pop out feature on the bottom. It's like a like like a tent card. So this little piece here, you're gonna fold up like that. So let me show it to you this way. So it's gonna go like that. And then these are gonna be like the, the feet of this little, it's gonna make a triangle like that with feet. So let me put some seal plus along this edge here. And we'll close that. All right, so now you've got this little piece like this. So it'll fold up flat, but then when it opens, it's going to pop up and we'll put this on the back of our little piece of artwork. Make sure I've got it going the right way. I'm just gonna put it close to the bottom, centered along the back. All right, so what that does is it just pops that up in a really nice, nice little way. And then of course you can embellish this. I'm gonna put a greeting on the front. Hey Carol, thanks. You guys are being so quiet. I'm trying to figure out if, if you do in, indeed and in, think this is kind of cool or not. So that could be a place for your outside greeting. So let me just show you the finished one here. And then I've got a ton of samples to show you. Here, let's pull this one back out. So here I've just added a little embellishment. Thinking of you with all my heart. Hello, you're amazing. And then anything is possible. And like, again, this is something they can put on their desk. They can put it on the window ledge or, um, you know, coffee table somewhere. Be just a cue. So you've got a little bookmark. You've got a little piece of artwork to go in there. And 
then happy birthday on the inside. And it all fits in an envelope. I love that. I love that. So let me just pull out these other samples. And you're going to be so excited. You're going to have to just, you're going to have to stop everything else you're doing this afternoon and make one. All right. So I did this with the pattern party um, hostess designer series paper and um, this one I did a little embossing on and I used the color and contour bundle so this is also for a birthday um, I have so many very special July birthday um, birthdays in my life so these, this was a perfect opportunity for me to make these kind of you know stepped up cards for some very special people so here's another, I made it a little table, little table card. Looks like a little chalkboard. And then the inside has the inside greeting. Like that. All right, so that is for one of those very special birthdays. So um, instead of using the fancy tag topper, I got out the um, tailored tags dies and tried those and of course they work beautifully they're a little bit smaller than the size I had made so if you kind of like the idea of these tucking in a little bit um, so they're not uh, they just they they actually stay within the the, the, um, the little cuff of the pocket there then you might want to use the little tags so this is with the symmetry paper and we've got a little um, little smile it's your time to shine and then the best moments in my life happen with you another little stand-up card and then happy birthday like that this has been so much fun making these and then I've got this one with the Beauty of the Earth designer series paper. So pretty, these trees are just gorgeous. So you inspire me, you're amazing again, cause that's just so perfect. And then we've got this little pretty little tree, little tent card and another happy birthday. So one of the things that I didn't mention about the designer series paper um, is that there are some times, and this paper made me think of it because um, there's a lot of directionality to this paper's. Um, so here where I used a stripe, you know, that doesn't matter as long as you've got it kind of going up and down. Um, same with this card, everything, you know, on this pattern paper was going up and down. So as long as you get it, you know, right from the get go that you're gonna have it go the long way, it'll be fine. But some patterns are only like the the images on the paper, like this, this inside piece has trees. Um, when it flips around, you know, it's upside down. So not a big deal in this case because I was putting this piece of paper here anyway, but just something to keep in mind when you're choosing the designer series paper that you want to use. Um, keep in mind that directionality because you do flip that card up and then you, you know, it flips backwards. So, okay. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? All right, mom, if you're watching, you need to close your eyes for two seconds while I share your birthday card. So close them. So then I use this pansy petals paper. Look how cute this is with the plants. Oh my gosh. This one's for my mama. I haven't made this into a tent card yet, but I will. But how fun is that? Tell you what. These two stamp sets go together so beautifully. They have the same kind of um, distressed, distinctive images. They've got all the kind of greenery and the pots and the rustic kind of, you know, look to it. So many greetings. These are a good little pair. So I enjoyed using them on this card here. And that is also a birthday card. Okay, mom, now you can look again. Um, yeah, so I wanted to just show you 
um, another idea. So this one is basically the same exact pattern, except instead of cutting my designer series paper at eight and a half by 11, I cut it eight by 10 and a half so that I could just mount the whole thing on a quarter sheet of cardstock. Just to give it a little more stability, I wanted to see what it was like. And it's, it's it, you know, it makes everything a little bit smaller, um, but it works, it works as well. So let's say you didn't want to do something like that. A little seed packet fits really nicely in that back pocket. Um, you could also, let's pull these out. So these are also made with the tailored tags. You could stick some tea in there with, with your bookmark. Um, a gift card fits in there really, really nicely. Let's see where my gift card went. Now this one doesn't coordinate with the paper, so I wouldn't use that. But you could stick a, a gift card here and then your bookmark there, or you could turn the gift card and stick it in this way so that just a little tiny piece, you know, would be showing. You could also attach your gift card, you know, to the front or back of this inside piece that goes in here. So that would be something um, fun to do. A little bit different. Now don't forget when you cut your um, designer series paper that you've got these triangles right um, so you definitely want to make some bonus cards so when I created this one I took those um, triangles that were left over and I just used one side of each and just created another little uh, little bonus card with those and that's something that you can do as well. Oh my goodness. All right, I shared. I shared a lot, I shared a lot. So you're gonna have to just take one more look at these and see if you can leave me a comment about what you think about the project. I would love your feedback. And then also which one, which one is your favorite? There's so many. I hope you give this one sheet layered pocket card a try. And as I mentioned earlier, all the step-by-step -step directions and the pictures of the pattern um, and the pattern to download the PDF, um, it's all gonna be on my blog very shortly this afternoon. So you can have that for your resource, um, for your resources as well. So thank you so much for watching today. Um, again, happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And I hope that you get to do some crafting. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.